Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope everyone is well. The summer of fun is ready to begin because we've got three Algeria friendlies to look forward to potentially going 27 games unbeaten, inshallah, which would be quite incredible record and that would be the biggest African international unbeaten record ever, beating Ivory Coast who have gone 26 games unbeaten previously when they won AFCON a few years ago. So today we're going to be previewing Algeria's first friendly against Mauritania, the game taking place in Blida at the Stade Chaker. Of course, in Blida, Algeria have never lost a game ever in Blida. They've literally never lost a game there. They've played about 30 to 40 games there, never lost, which is quite incredible. Uh, but hopefully we'll see some of the new stadiums soon. Of course, we've got the new stadium in Oran, which is opening, and the Algeria B team are going to be playing there against Burundi in June. So... Perhaps going forward we'd be seeing some games in Oran and also the opportunity of course when the fans are allowed back in, obviously fans that are not in Algiers, fans in Oran in the other cities getting a chance to watch Algeria play and of course we've got players like Bournadjah and Beleli who are from Oran so they'd love to go back to their hometown. But today we're going to be looking at the game against Mauritania and I think it's going to be a difficult game compared to what people think because Mauritania Although on paper they're a weak side, they're a good side recently and they're one of the emerging African nations. Of course, they went to the last AFCON, they did quite well, they played very well against Tunisia. This year in, in the qualifiers, they've qualified for AFCON again. They also drew to Morocco this year, so Morocco couldn't beat them and they also beat the Central African Republic in their last fixture. So Mauritania going to AFCON as well. Decent side, of course, our North African brothers as well, so always good to see them doing well, but this time hopefully going to beat them. So. They're going to be a little bit of a threat. I think we've got to give them a little bit of respect. This isn't playing one of the lesser teams in Africa. This is a team that's going to AFCON. Of course, you've got teams like DR Congo and South Africa that haven't gone to AFCON. But you've got Mauritania who have gone to AFCON. Perhaps they're going to be a little bit more harder than people expect. So in terms of the score prediction, I'm thinking maybe 2-0 or 3-0. Uh, but I'm going to go for 3-0. And I think 3-0 because it's testament to how good we are that we can beat sides like Mauritania comfortably. But of course, it won't be the strongest Algeria side. I think you'll see the changes from Belmadi. I think there's the strong sides will play against Mali and Tunisia. That's when you'll see the big players. Of course, I'd be very surprised if Riyad Mahrez played against Mauritania following the uh, disappointing Champions League final where Pep Guardiola messed things up. So I'd be very surprised if Mahrez is going to play. So in my predicted XI, we're not going to be including Riyad Mahrez in the team. I don't think he's going to play. So this is the team that well, it's not really my team, it's the team I think Belmadi will play combined with the, the players I want to see. In goal, I'd like to see Ukija in goal. I think we know how good Mbolhi is. It's always great to see Mbolhi in the squad, but let's see what Ukija can do. Another chance to give him some experience in between the sticks. And Ukija is a more than capable goalkeeper. He's obviously not the number one goalkeeper at the moment, but he is playing in Liga. Had a very good season with Mets. So I'd like to see Okija play in goal. And in the weakest of the three friendlies, I think it would be good to play him. Because going forward, Mauritania shouldn't have that much to offer in this game. They're probably quite defensive. I think they drew 0-0 to Morocco. They narrowly beat Central African Republic 1-0, I believe. So they're going to try and keep it tight at the back. So going forward, we'll be restricting them to a few chances. So get Okija a game in the goal. Right back, I want, I'd like to see Yusuf Atal play because Atal hasn't played for Algeria for a long time, it feels like. So he's not been around for ages. But I think Bermadi will play Mehdi Zafan and give Zafan a game. I'd like to think Zafan deserves a game. Wasn't in the last squad, uh, got promoted in Russia to the Russian Premier League. So I'd like to see Zafan given a game at right back. Left back, I'm not keen on Abdelawi, but I think Abdelawi is going to play. I think Belmadi is probably going to play Abdelawi. I want Ben Sabani to play. Uh, I think Abdelawi is going to play because it would give him a chance to play. It'll be, you know, he's called up 30 players, so they're all going to be wanting the game at some point. They're all going to be wanting to start or come off the bench in the game. If Belmadi is serious about winning the game, he'll play Ben Sabani and Atal. But I think he'll go Zafan Abdelawi. But let's see what happens. If, if he wants to win the game seriously, he'll play Atal and Rami. But if he wants to try the new players out, he'll play Abdelawi and Zafan in the fullback positions. Of course, Zafan played in an AFCON final. And Abdelawi plays in Switzerland. So we'll see, have to see how they get on. Centre-back pairing. Again, is Bernardi going to play Ben Lamry and Mandy or is he going to save them? For me, I think we have to give Tuba his debut. Let's see what Tuba can do in an Algeria shirt. I think it's about time we can see how good he really is. Make his debut for the Algerian national team. Make him feel a part of the team because he called him up last time and he didn't play him. And then Roberto Martinez was talking about Belgium still being able to get him. So let's get Tuba his debut. And alongside him, I'll actually put Badrain because I want to see if Badrain's any good. Because central defensively, we've got some quite old players. Ben Larry's getting old, Manny's getting old. I know Badrain isn't the youngest either, 
but he's playing in Esperance with Tunisia. That's a high level. They're in the semi-finals of the CAF Champions League. So play two with, with Badalain and let's see how good they are. Because in the friendlies at the end of the day, you want to be testing players and seeing how good they are. This isn't qualifying games where you have to play your best team. Try new players out. And that's why I was a little bit disappointed with the squad because I wanted to see some new players tried out for Algeria. But let's try out Tuba and Badrain at the back. They barely have started any games for the Algerian national team. Let's see how they get on as a centre-back pair. And of course, Badmali could also play Taharat if he feels he wants to do that. So he could put Taharat with Tuba as well. So he might do that. Let's see how that get on. But we've seen Taharat a few times with Algeria. We haven't seen Badrain or Tuba. So I'd play them and see what they're all about. And going forwards, I'd like to see a 4-4-2. We played a 4-4-2 recently. We've played Slimani and Buna Jaha together recently. So two central midfielders. I want to see Badawi. It's been a while since we've seen Badawi with the Algeria national team. And I want to see more of Zaruki. I want to see what Zaruki can do. So Badawi and Zaruki together as a central midfield pairing. They are going to probably be our future with Benassa. And of course, Benassa is not here. So let's see how Badawi and Zaruki can do. On the right, there's a lot of competition for places. Of course, you've got Frahat, Gazelle, Mares if he's around. But I'm going to give the place to Adam Unas. We haven't seen Adam Unas for a long time. Had a good bit of form in Serie A with Crotone. I know he got relegated, but he did play quite well. He scored quite a few goals. So Adam Unas, I'd love to see him back in the squad. And I'd play side Ben Rahma on the left wing. I want to see more from Ben Rahma. Of course, a home game as well. Let's see how Ben Rahma gets on. And up front, I wouldn't play Bunaja. I'd play Slomani so he can fill his boots and get close to that record. And I'd play Andy Delore alongside Slomani. Two strikers, both in Liga, one at Lyon, one at Montpellier. They could actually link up quite well together. Both very good headers of the ball. I feel like they could link off each other well. And it'll be a good opportunity to see Slimani and Delor together because I think at the AFCON when we played against Tanzania, we had Delor play on the wing and Slimani play and that worked out really well. So I play Slimani and Delor together again. So that's my team in a 4-4-2. Let me know your predicted excite in the comments down below and what players you'd like to see. Now in terms of Mauritania, we played them in January 2017. We beat them by three goals to one. Um, Hassan scored for Mauritania, can you believe? This Hassan guy who plays in Spain, I think in the second division in Spain, he's quite good, quite young as well. He's probably their best player, so he's one to look out for. But we did beat Mauritania that day 3-1. Bunaja actually scored that day. I think Bentaleb scored as well. In the five or six games we've played against Mauritania, We've never lost, so we are unbeaten in our entire history against them. Let's try and keep it that way. So like I said, I think it's going to be a 2 or a 3-0 win for Algeria. I think Belmadi will ring in the changes, but it's a good opportunity to see Tuba, Badawi, Zaruki. I want to see Delore as well, Akija. Try some new players out, because that's what these games are all about. And then Belmadi can really decide what players to take on board for the World Cup qualifiers that begin in September, because that's what it's all about. We can't miss the World Cup again. This is, there's a bit of pressure now on Mali to take the team to the World Cup. The AFCON was amazing, but the World Cup's very special. And for us to qualify, just the excitement of it would be very good indeed. So hopefully we can beat Mauritania, inshallah. It would be 25 games unbeaten if we do. Never lost in Bleeder. That's my predicted team. Hopefully we're going to get the job done. We've got to look out for El Hassan for Mauritania. He's a good player, playing, playing in Europe, of course. But apart from that, respect to them for qualifying for AFCON. Hopefully we get the job done. I'm going to say 3-0 to Algeria for this game. The game, of course on Thursday the 3rd of June 2021, kick off at 8.30 I believe in Bleeder and hopefully we're going to get the win. So let me know your score predictions in the comments down below, hopefully we can beat Mauritania and keep the unbeaten record going. Nice to see Algeria playing again with the Covid last year, we missed a lot of Algeria games, a lot of delays, so hopefully we can get back to winning ways. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.